Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So right now I'm at my front door and I'm gonna show you my apartment tour. So I live in a duplex and yeah, let's get started. Well, here's the front door. And when you walk in, I have this rug. Almost everything is from TJ Maxx. So I'll be saying that a lot. And then this long run, runner, which is really pretty woven one, is from a little boutique in my hometown. Oh, there's Dilly. <laughs> so when you turn to your right, you will see this cute picture that Tyler's mom got us for Christmas. And then this store right here. And this just brings us into our garage. I just have some shoes. I don't want to show you my license plate, our lawnmower, and some boxes. Pretty small, pretty tidy, not much in there. Just gonna lock that. And then right here is just a closet. And we just have all of our jackets in there, our reusable bag, bags. <laughs> and then a small, sh smaller shoe rack for more everyday shoes. So going back around, I drew the blinds because it was really bright right now. Sorry if the lighting isn't the best. Here's our living room. So, I really like it. I mean, obviously this apartment isn't very updated or perfect, but it is what we can afford right now, and it is what it is. So, I try to make it as cute as I could. So the side tables are just these nice metal round side tables that are metal, like I just said. And they're from Ikea. I think they're like 16, 15 bucks. That little candle holder down there was a gift from Tyler's grandma. And these lamps I got for Christmas um, a couple years ago from my grandma and I think she got them from TJ Maxx. They're really cute. The shades are like a really slight pink color. Um, I know some of you guys are thinking like, oh, this is a lot of pink for a guy and girl, but I got a lot of this stuff, mainly the rug, before me and Tyler were living together when I was living by myself. So I was going for kind of a girlier boho theme. So then we have our couch. I really love it. It's this nice kind of, kind of like a dusty navy, like velvety feel um and you can switch that piece right there to either side if you want and then flip over that cushion the fluffy white pillows are from tg max and i believe they're like 40 bucks for the two of them which isn't too bad because they're, they're like so soft crazy soft they're getting a little dingy now because it's been a couple years but i still really like them and this Explore pillow I got from my mom. She got from a boutique near my hometown. I'm not sure where that throw blanket is from. I got that for Christmas. Oh, and the couch I don't think I said, but um, my aunt gave it to us and she was really nice and gave it to us. So I'm not sure where it's from. I'm sure it's from like, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> so I don't even want to say, but I'm sure you could find one similar to it like it somewhere. And we just keep a, a bed up there for Dilly so she's not getting the couch all hairy. And I got this little footstool. We just add so we can both put our feet up if we're both laying on the couch. This is just from Walmart and it has a little thing. Tyler keeps his games in there. Or I keep them in there so they're not showing. And let's see what's next. This blanket chest I actually made my senior year of high school in wood shop class. So I'm pretty proud of it. It's a lot of mix match wood because I didn't really know what I was doing to be honest, but I tried and I like it. <laughs> so then we have this TV here, nothing crazy. His game and I love this picture frame we got for Christmas from his grandma. And it says you can't buy love, but you can rescue it with a picture of us three down there. I'm um, gonna get a new one because Tyler's cut off and so is Dilly a little bit. But as you guys know also, you'll see a lot of airplane stuff around the house. And that's because Tyler is going to be a commercial pilot right now. He's a flight instructor. So he can fly on his own and stuff. And that's from his mom. And 
and the glass vase is from TJ Maxx, I believe, or Hobby Lobby. I can't remember. It's been a while since that one. I think Hobby Lobby, actually. All right, so next, over here, we've been lucky and have a fireplace, so that's really nice. I just turned that on for aesthetic purposes. <laughs> That mirror up there, my mom got me from TJ Maxx. It's so pretty. It's just really nice natural wood. I try to do a lot of natural wood. Got a couple scratched when we were moving, but you can't really see from farther away. And then this plant I just picked up from Walmart. It was like $17. And the basket for it was from Sears. It's just a really cute gray and white braided basket. And I think that was like $10. I was wrong. The basket for the plant is from Shopco and Shopco's going out of business, so be sure to check them out. Both these frames, I believe, are from TJ Maxx. Again, they were gifts. I'm pretty sure I know this one is for sure. And that one was a gift from my mom. So I think the it was from TJ Maxx, so maybe. Sorry, I'm not the best at knowing where everything's from. I absolutely adore TJ Maxx. It's such great prices and you never know what you're going to find. So a lot of my stuff is from there. These two vases are from, I believe, Hobby Lobby originally. But I used to work at Altered State. It's a faith-based women's clothing store. Definitely check them out. They have a lot of cute stuff. And after their seasonal decor, or like the season changed and we switched the decor, they would let employees take stuff home. So I got those two vase va vases, <laughs> vases and filled them up with some flowers I got at TJ Maxx recently and I think they're having a sale right now so I got them at 50% off each. Again, I'm wrong. Those fake plants were from Michaels. I don't know why I said TJ Maxx. I think it's just because I say it 100 times in this video. But they're from Michaels and they're having some sales right now. So there's my correction. This cute little cement bunny is from TJ Maxx last year. And it was like $5, I think, so pretty cheap. Next, I have this little white table. I believe it was $25, if I remember correctly. And it was just from Ikea. Super simple, easy to style, easy to match with. Below, we just have some cute books. I have Living in Style by Rachel Zoe. That was from the Dollar Tree, actually. And I just thought it was really cute under there. And Tyler's reading Firestarter, so we just have that under there too. And the rug is, yet again, from TJ Maxx. And that was like $15. It's just really pretty printed on rug. Um, so like the back side is just white. But I really liked it and it was cheap in my budget. This gorgeous wooden, what do you call it? I don't know what to call it, like a little container? I don't know, but you guys can see it. This is from TJ Maxx also, it has a flower like carved into it. And then this little piggy I got from Altered State, whoops. And the little house it goes in, or is in, I got from the Five Below, yeah, Five Below. I just keep my remotes in here and coasters, which are also from Altered State. And I have this little treat bin that says, let's eat. It is the, oops, Ray and Dunn, but they also have this brand a lot at TJ Maxx. And this is from TJ again. And here's just a Polaroid booklet I have, just with some Polaroids. It's a little album I keep on the table. So this candle is the Milk House candle and I love the holiday home scent. I think you can get those at a couple different stores. And this candle was just from TJ Maxx. So that's kind of the overall living room. Oh, I guess I didn't talk about this. <laughs> this is my corduroy bean bag that I got for Christmas. Dilly was just laying in it so she messed up my pillow. Um, if you don't know what a corduroy bean bag is, it is a bean bag that you can unzip um, on the side. There's a zipper. I think it's like right under here, right on the bottom. And it turns into like it pulls out into a huge bed. So it's really nice for when we have guests over 
where you can just unzip it and it's a queen size bed that's like memory foam so it's super comfy and yeah I really like it I'm really glad I have that <laughs> this pillow is from TJ Maxx ties in with some of the pink I have throughout the living room and yeah that's kind of it so next is the little dining room that we have that's so tiny but we have this wine rack that me and Tyler won at a silent auction or bid on bought whatever and on it we just have some glasses a electric wine opener some of Tyler's booze <laughs> wedding planning cup my sister got me just a cute little salt lamp you can get those basically anywhere this we got at TJ Maxx and just kind of fill with wine corks. I actually made this little shot glass um, in ceramics class. Well, it's shot glass now, but it could be whatever. And then we just have some wine on there. So next is here. Whoop! Next here is our little table, and I really want to repaint this. I'm not sure what color though. Because since I have the white there, I don't want to paint it white because I feel like that would be too much. And since I have the white bean bag here. So I'm not sure. So if you guys know what color I should paint it, let me know. But this is actually just out of my parents' camper. Like, it's not a mobile home, but it's like a camper that just kind of stays in place. For, they have it on this lake for the summer. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk. So, I'm not sure where you can get this, and we'll probably update this as soon as we can, because it's not the cutest. But this I got from my grandma, and I change out every season. So, right now, it just has rocks, moss, and some, like, little flowers, and those are all from the Dollar Tree. But I'm not sure where she got this candle, but or candle holder and candle, but it's really pretty, and I really like it. This picture I love, and it ties in just, like, all the colors we have. It is from TJ Maxx, of course, <laughs> and yeah, I really like it. It was like, I think about $50, so not bad for a painting that size. And this little table thing was from my aunt. She like repainted it and stuff. I think I'm gonna get some different knobs on it. Maybe some like cool rock ones, um, like the geode ones, I think. So let me know if you guys know where I can get some cool new knobs. These candlestick holders are some of my favorite. They're just so pretty. I just am really into the natural wood. And with the accent of gold, I really like. Those are from TJ. I have my Lexi there. I'm not going to say her real name because I don't want her to go on. Then these were also decorations from T or not TJ Maxx. Um, Altered State that I got for free. And I thought just thought they tied into the painting really nicely. So I just picked those up too. Then I have this really cute welcome, the Wi-Fi password is. So when guests come, I can just point them over to the picture frame when they ask. And this is so easy to make. I just made this on Word, and I saw the idea on Pinterest, and then this frame is literally just from the Dollar Tree. So I just think it's really cute, and I always get compliments on that when people are over. Then I have this diffuser I got for Christmas. This is from TJ Maxx. So many things from TJ Maxx. <laughs> so if you're trying to style your apartment and decorate, definitely check them out. I have this little cute fetch dog van and it has like little bone handles Oops. on the side. And this was from TJ as well. And that little square thing we pull out if we have more guests and need more seating at the t table. So that was from my aunt also. There's little Dilly. <laughs> so next when you turn around let's see our kitchen now it's not that pretty but we did what we could with what we had so we have this really nice island which I really am glad we have it because we didn't have it in our last apartment our last apartment was a lot more aesthetically pleasing but not as much room and cupboard space like the kitchen was so small so I'm happy with this kitchen this little planter with all these fake succulents are is from Altered State again. Got this for free. And let's see, right over here we have a couple, a little bit of more storage because we needed it in our last apartment. So we had this there and then just brought it over here and we use it too. Um, just for like chips, tea, and one thing. 
extra bags and Dilly's treats and whatnot. We put our microwave on it also. And then up here I have this other natural wooden tray. We just keep our keys in it and put this little coin jar on there. The coin jar, I'm not sure where it's from. I think it might be from Tyler's parents store. And the tray is from TJ Maxx. So I have these three little shelves, I think they're hexagons, um, that are like a fake natural wood. It's just, I think like printed on. But I think they're really cute. They were $12 for all three of them. And Forever 21 I actually got them from, which is kind of random. Um, a girl in high school made me this really cute little vase. <laughs> and then that turtle's from Altered State. You can buy that from there. And this is from TJ. <laughs> we just have Deli's little food bowl and food the bin here and another rug that matches the same one in the living room and also I just want to mention the floor is not dirty I literally was thought that when we moved in but it is just so scratched up and down no matter how many times I mop and clean like it will not go away so trust me I clean my floors <laughs> it's just like that so let's start from over here I have these cute little word magnets from my aunt. We got them for Christmas. And here's my grandma that just passed away recently. My grandpa. Great grandparents. So I just have them on my fridge right now just for memory. I have my little shopping list. That's from TJ. Nope, nope, that's from Target actually. Their little dollar section. Then my knives are from TJ. Not sure where my toaster's from, but I mean, they all kind of look the same. And this is from Ikea. Those are kind of all random. Um, then I just have this cute little Mary and Martha honeycomb thing just with some candy in it. And the glass jars with flour and all those ingredients are from Ikea also. That little lamp. I'll shut it off so you can see it better. This little salt lamp is from Amazon. And you can put melty candle wax in it. It will smell the room. Honestly, I can't tell, really say I can smell it ever, but I think it's really cute. The gather sign, I believe, is from Magnolia Farms, I think. Let me check. Oops. Oh my gosh. So I think that's from Magnolia Farms or whatever that place is that Fixer Upper owns. And if you just saw the beer can back there. <laughs> so we have this thing where my parents' friends, when they used to come over to their house, they would hide beer cans. And for my parents to find if they had friends over and they were drinking. And my parents were over, so they must have hid that one there. <laughs> that's been there a while. So nice. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Next is this verse of the week. I got this from Altered State and it comes with a bunch of verse, one for each week obviously. And you just clip it on there. I just think it's so cute. Nice little thing to read each week. I have a little banana holder and fruit holder. This is from TJ. And if you're wondering why I have an old banana, if you didn't know, the best banana bread is made with old bananas. There's a little tip. I make a really good banana bread. Our Nest is Blessed sign is from Altered State. They have a ton of cute, aspiring decor. I have quite a bit from there, so I'll keep letting you know what I have from there. And that's just our sink and Keurig. We got a dishwasher, thankfully. So in here is just a storage room and laundry. Nothing crazy. That's my foot speaking, by the way. But yeah, so we just kind of keep this bookshelf and all this kind of stuff. Okay, so next this hallway leads to a just storage closet we have with extra conditioner, razors, medicine, towels, beach stuff. I'll show you this room last. But then I got a picture of my siblings. They probably don't want to be in this video. Well, you guys know Peyton. So there's Peyton's school picture. 
And then I have this little gallery wall I've been working on. And this is from Altered State, another decor piece that they were giving away. I have this Get Lost sign. I can't really, I think I got this from a coffee shop. Um, yeah, I don't really know what the name was called. But it just says Get Lost with the US on it. Then do more of what you love. Tyler's mom gave me that for Christmas. And this I got from TJ. It was like 30 cents and I thought it was really cool. And it's navy blue so it ties in with the rest of my stuff. And then I have the shadow box that I saw this idea on Pinterest. And you put your Polaroids in it and I love the idea just to display them all. I think it's really cute. So, and then so there's two doors here. We're going to go into this one. So in here is our little bathroom. I have just a little Scentsy thing. The toothbrush holder and that tray are both from Target along with the rug and shower curtain. Again, when I wasn't living with Tyler, <laughs> so it's not his favorite. Um, on here, I just have these little things that hold the cotton swabs and cotton pads. And this is from the Dollar Tree and so are these. So I just like to have my bath bombs in there. I think it looks cute. And I have this little picture frame that was embroidered. I'm not sure where that's from. My mom gave me that. And yeah, that's kind of it. Also, just to mention, this, like I didn't think this would be good. It's from Pink, but it is amazing. I use this almost every time I get out of the shower, especially in the winter I did. And I really love that lotion. So definitely pick that up if, if you need a good lotion. So, as you can see, there are two doors to this bathroom. One is a sliding door, and it leads to our bedroom. So, when you come in, here is the overview of the bedroom. Again, a lot of airplane stuff. And here's the other door to come out back into the hallway. So to start from in between the doors, I have this really cool map Tyler got me for Christmas. It's one of those scratch off maps. So we've been a lot more places than this, but we're starting to just do places we've been together. Dilly, hi. Um, so we just scratched off the places we've been together and then put some Polaroids of where that was. Then I have this little nightstand. I believe this furniture is all Ashley furniture. Tyler's parents own a department store, so we actually got this from them. But this is from Alter State, something they were getting rid of. And I got this from TJ for Tyler one year for Christmas. And this Bible and frame is from TJ, or not TJ, Alter State also. And they're my friends that got me for it. Thanks, Grace and Bernice, if you're watching. Then I have the TV stand here. All the furniture pieces are matching. We kind of have, like, I have my jewelry and perfumes down there. And Tyler has his kind of cologne, lotion, and stuff. And another airplane his mom got him. And then just our TV. We just have a fan we got from Walmart. Dilly's... <laughs> kennel and blanket. We only lock her up in there if we're sleeping and we just want to have a good night's sleep. Because, I mean, she takes up a bit of the bed. It's only a queen. But normally she gets to sleep with us. It just depends. So, this comforter was $21 from JCPenney's during, I think, Black Friday? No, maybe around Black Friday or Christmas. And it came with the comforter, the two pillow shams, the bed skirt, and the sheets. All for $21. So I thought that was a crazy deal. I think it's really cute and goes with the bedroom good. And yeah. I'm not sure where these frames are from. Ted's mom got him them. Um, I think one year <laughs> his mom and I both got him a bunch of airplane stuff and didn't know each other was. So this is kind of the theme of our bedroom now. This airplane picture I got him, I think it's really cool because it's like a tin um, picture, I guess, canvas, I don't know. And that was from Gordon's, I think that's how, 
I think that's what it was called, Gordon's. And then we have these homemade coasters we got as actually as a wedding favor, but I think they're just scrapbook papered on tile. So pretty easy to make if you need a DIY project. The lamps, I have one there and then over there. Mine isn't plugged in right now because um, I couldn't move the dresser to plug it in. So those are actually from Family Dollar. They were $15 each, which I think is such a good price because I think they're pretty cute and cool. Different kind of lamps. And that picture frame was from my grandma for Christmas. I'm not sure what she got that. Oh, I forgot to mention the two like XO pillows are from Pottery Barn. So we have our main dresser here. This I'm definitely going to replace. This is so old, but it keeps my necklaces nice and untangled. But I'm probably going to get a black one, but I think that's originally from Pottery Barn. This I got Tyler for Christmas to keep his watches and that's from TJ. Then my jewelry thing, I just got this Christmas and I really love it. It just separates them all nicely. I love that shelf I have for them and my hanging earrings. So this shelf is from Amazon. Yeah, I found it on Amazon and yeah, I think it was like around 25 bucks. And the earring holders, I paid $7 for like six of them and I only used two. So those are really nice just to separate them all and then I can see them all. I'm not sure where the hand is from, probably somewhere like Michael's. I know they have them if you're looking for something like that. Same with my holder for my bracelet, that's from Michael's. And this I think is from Walmart at one point, but that's pretty old, so I've had that a while. Now my trash bin is from TJ Maxx, I believe. And this little side table we put right here since I don't really have one since my nightstand's over there because it doesn't really fit. That and the mirror both from Ikea. And then when you open this door, we got our closet. So it's basically just my closet <laughs> to be honest. Um, that little gold rack we were going to put in the garage but... We ended up putting it in here so we can hang our belts and my bras and my robe on it. And we have Tyler's ring up there. Another picture that we just didn't have room for on the walls. Um, if you guys ever want to see like how I organize my closet, let me know. But I have a lot of stuff. That's Tyler's small rack. Um, okay, that really needs to be folded. I forgot to do that before this, but... Yeah, I was going through it one time looking for something recently and tore it apart because I was in a rush. So, yeah, that's kind of the closet. Nothing too special. Alright, going back into the hallway, we have the guest bedroom. Alright, so here's the guest bedroom. It's pretty small and this is actually where I film. Uh, Dilly, do you really need to do that right now? Okay, come on. We'll play later, okay? You go out there. Okay, I'll just shut the door. Um, Alright, so this is my second closet since I love clothes. So more of my fancier dresses and then just like sweatshirts and stuff. Storage, art stuff, nothing crazy. And then I have this art desk I got a while back from Michael's from my grandparents. It's really nice and holds a lot of stuff. Picture frame, I don't want to show everyone in case I don't want to be in it. But this was from Hobby Lobby, sorry I couldn't think, and I added these flowers. We used this actually as my card holder for my graduation party and it works really nice for now just like important folders, books, whatever I need. This fake plant and this vase was from Altered State, they were giving it away. And I actually have a macrame, I just have it hidden back there, a macrame plant holder. And I'm going to put that up here in this corner along with this cute little thing and get an air plant for it. And then this frame I got from Altered State also. I just haven't had the time to go get the hooks that will go on the ceiling. So that's where they're sitting right now. I just have my planner, my little drawing guy. 
and this is Tyler's lava lamp he got from his sister one year for Christmas so that kind of just sits there this lamp I really like it is from Ikea I just think it's really cute with the black and white and gold and it wasn't too expensive that mirror oh we hung it up today and I think when we we're moving it got bent so it's like halfway off the wall <laughs> but that's how it is and yeah that was like $15 from Family Dollar pretty cute other than the fact that it's bent <laughs> Then we have where I film the magic happens, you gig me, and this little cushion chair is from my aunt again, so I'm not sure where she got it, but the two desks I just put together because I couldn't find one that was like exactly like this but one piece, and these are just two desks from my Ikea, I think one was like 50 and one was 40 or one was 60 and one was 50 but overall not too bad because if I was buying a one-piece desk it'd probably be around the same price but now I get exactly what I want if you guys want me to do a tour of my makeup drawers and stuff and show you all the stuff I have in my collection let me know I just have this vase from the Dollar Tree I always get my vases there if they're just a simple one and this plant from Ikea that's somewhat dying somewhat not I'm not sure and I potted some plants, well, some seeds, and they're not really growing yet, so <laughs> that's that. This is from my mom. I believe she got it at TJ Maxx. Um, it's actually a mirror at the bottom, too, so it's really cute. I really love gold right now. And this was from Tyler's mom. I think it lights up still. One year for Christmas, so she gave me this. So that lights up. Um, and I have this little dog from the Dollar Tree, too. This mirror is from Amazon. This is what I use every day doing my makeup. And it has little things that turn on for the light if you touch that. But it's not very bright. So I normally don't use that. This I just put my dirty brushes in. And this container was the beginning of my makeup collection when I first started storing stuff in. And that's from Amazon. And now I need this whole thing in that drawer to store everything. I'm not sure where this extra rack came from. My parents just gave it to me because I needed more space. And sorry about this bin. This is all the stuff I'm getting rid of. So it's a lot of clothes. I'll be filming that video soon. I have some good stuff, some really nice guest wedges. Um, I honestly don't think I've ever worn those. And I don't know if I want to let these go or not. I just have short legs and stubby legs so they make my legs look even shorter and stubbier but they're Tommy Hilfiger so if you guys would buy these they're a size 8 I believe let me double check yeah they're a size 8 so if you guys are interested in buying these let me know they're not really that worn okay they're a little dusty right now that shows you how much I'd never wore them but then here I just have my sewing stuff some extra hangers fabric and then this rack is all stuff I've made except the scarves. I just didn't know where else to put those. So, yeah, that's that. All right, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this little duplex tour. Um, no, it's not perfect, but hey, I'm trying. I'm young and afford the decorations I can. But I really enjoy decorating and finding things at TJ Maxx. Obviously, that's my go-to score. Score. Store. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and yeah, see you guys next time. Alright, bye! Shut the door on you. Oh my gosh. Alright, I forgot to show you guys outside. Um, I just have this table and chairs from Menards. And that little rug from Ikea. I think the rug was $10. And yeah, just thought I'd show you that guys quick. So if you stayed till the very end, you saw a little bonus clip. Alright, bye guys.